Hey guys, I just watched an interesting video from TED. You guys know about the TED conferences. They're, you know, inspirational or whatever. <laughs> uh, I like watching those and kind of following along on, on what they post because, um, you know, the speeches that are given are, are always at least thought provoking, if, if nothing else. So I, I watch a lot of them. And one that I saw today was about creativity and how, uh, one, it doesn't happen in the office, and two, it doesn't happen in short periods of time. It, it requires long periods of time to get great ideas and, and have them really come to fruition, I guess, in your head. And, you know, I thought that was that was pretty interesting because today, right now, Raymond is in my in my office in his little par portion of my office, talking on the phone for his day job. He actually came today to kind of do a little bit of his day job work and also kind of on the side um, do a little bit of work for me for Snapchat. But he keeps getting interrupted by his day job, and it's funny because I watched this video today and it talks all about how work doesn't get done in the office work gets done at other times because you're always getting interrupted by the phone by people by meetings by conference calls and hilarious that is is actually happening right now in my office and i wanted to talk to you guys about it because you know thinking back you know i'm thinking about the companies that i did work for and you know one of them was a very small company it was super successful you know, they were, they were growing so fast and making so much money and, you know, their, their meetings that, that they would have and that I, I was actually able to go to a couple of them that were really steering meetings, you know, uh, steering the direction of the company, thinking about what, you know, the next thing is, the next customers that they wanted, you know, the next pie in the sky idea. They were all off site. They were at the owner's house. And of course the owners had, you know, this huge house and they would, you know, have somebody, their housekeeper or person, um, make food and it was all very relaxed. We would sit, I remember this one time, we just sat on their back porch after we ate and we just tossed around ideas. And, you know, that's where it happened. You know, the, the meeting, there were no meetings. There were no meetings at that company. You know, we would, we would gather around the campfire, if you will you know, when, when that needed to happen or, you know, everybody would kind of get together. It was a small company. We were able to do that, but you know, I, I found that interesting. And then another person that I thought of was this, this gentleman that I used to work with, who was such a character. He said that when he couldn't sleep at night, which apparently was fairly often, he would go out to his garage and he would write his ideas as he was like tinkering in the garage. He would write his ideas on the back of old business cards <laughs> and that's where he got his best ideas from his best thinking from he wasn't even in any sort of creative position he was in a managerial position at um, at a company that that manufactured things so it, you know even if you're not in in a creative sort of uh, capacity in your job I'm I'm curious where do you go to get your ideas. What do you do? You know, do you do you sit on the porch like I am right now? I'm sitting on the porch to get away from Raymond's meeting right now. But, you know, what do you do? Because I definitely have my kind of go-to places if I'm working on something, you know, when I'm ruminating on something. I like to I've talked to you guys about this before. I like to go to the museum. I like to go hiking. I like to just be outside. And I think that's also why I like to change my office around a lot, because it makes me feel like it's not an office. You know, it's always something new and different, and it's kind of um, shakes me up a little bit. So anyway, that's it for me. I will put a link to the video that I watched in the description of this video so that you guys can take a look at it. You know, this isn't any sort of groundbreaking idea, but but it did get me to thinking and I did think it was awfully funny that that came up today in my situation today where I'm listening to Raymond continually getting interrupted by his day job. 
and uh, which he hates, by the way. He doesn't even like his day job. <laughs> so that's it. Talk to you guys later.